So it looks like OpenAI released Sora to a few artists for early access and testing. And very quickly, one of them released it for uh, use to everyone using Hugging Face to kind of host it and allow it to be used by everyone. After three hours, OpenAI shut down Sora's early access for all artists while they deal with the situation. Here's Sam Altman's reaction. Now, I think that was generated by Sora. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I think somebody managed to generate during the time while it was up. Now, I'll play some of the videos that people have generated and posted online in the meantime, but the people that released it did have a kind of an open letter to OpenAI and everybody else explaining why they're doing this, why they're sort of giving this middle finger emoji to the people that are putting this out there. Dear corporate AI overlords, we received access to Sora with the promise to be early testers, red teamers, and creative partners. However, we believe instead we are being lured into art washing to tell the world that Sora is a useful tool for artists. Artists are not your unpaid R&D, research and development. We are not your free bug testers, PR puppets, training data, validation tokens. Hundreds of artists provide unpaid labor through bug testing, feedback and experimental work for the program for a $150 billion valued company. While hundreds contribute for free, a few select will be chosen through a competition to have their Sora created films screened, offering minimal compensation, which pales in comparison to the substantial PR and marketing value OpenAI receives. Then in all caps, denormalize billion dollar brands exploiting artists for unpaid R&D and public relations PR. Furthermore, every output needs to be approved by the OpenAI team before sharing. This early access program appears to be less about creative expression and critique and more about PR and advertisement. Corporate art washing detected. We are releasing this tool to give everyone an opportunity to experiment with what around 300 artists were offered, a free and unlimited access to this tool. We are not against the use of AI technology as a tool for the arts. If we were, we probably would not have been invited to this program. What we don't agree with is how this artist program has been rolled out and how the tool is shaping up ahead of possible public release. We are sharing this to the world in the hopes that OpenAI becomes more open, more artist friendly and supports the arts beyond PR stunts. We call on artists to make use of tools beyond the proprietary. Open source video generation tools allow artists to experiment with the avant-garde free from gatekeeping, commercial interests, or serving as PR to any corporation. We also invite artists to train their own models with their own data sets. I don't think they proofread this. Uh, open source video generation tools allow artists to experiment with avant-garde tools without gatekeeping. Yeah, sorry, I think somebody copied and pasted something uh, again, but okay, so some open source video tools available are Cog Video X, Mochi One, LTX Video, and Pyramid Flow. However, as we are aware, not everyone has the hardware or technical capability to run open source tools and models. We welcome toolmakers to listen to and provide path to true artist expression with fair compensation to the artists. So currently the videos that they've generated posted here, they're not loading. It's kind of uh, iffy. So either it was taken down or maybe too many people are trying to access it. It's, it's not working. It's not loading. And the links to the video themselves aren't working. Actually, so yeah, OpenAI, they're hosted on OpenAI on videos.openai.com. So it looks like they pulled it down. But currently, tons of people are posting the kind of the leaked videos. It's hard to tell which ones are real, which ones are not. So take this with a grain of salt. But it looks like a bunch of people were able to generate some pretty cool images, some pretty cool videos. And uh, we kind of get to see what Sora is capable of. And I got to say, so far, it's looking pretty good. This is a developing story. Stay tuned. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you soon.